So the, actually I was started the natural farming in the ninth year 1988. So my soil structure is uh, like this when I before starting natural farming. So now soil structure is like this after doing uh, natural farming. So the, here the water holding capacity is almost 55 percent. All micronutrients and NPK and micronutrients and the soil microbes are more compared to the soil. Okay. So once the, the soil pro, soil fertility increases, there is no doubt the food production automatically increases. At the same time, it checks global warming. How much time does it take to ma go from that type of soil? Yeah, to about this? 20 years. Okay. Yeah, it's 20 years, but it's not not necessary. Okay. Soil should be so much of rich. Okay. Okay. For uh, getting more production. I see. Uh, will you be able to talk to us about how you get the soil from that state to this state? So actually, I am not disturbing the soil because we are finding animals in three places. One is aqua animal, the other is the animals living uh, above the surface. Okay. The animals living inside the surface, like okay. earthworm, microbes, and lily pads, millipads, and other things. Right. So the total mass of the animals, the insects and microbes living inside the soil is to, uh, heavier than the animals living above the surface. Okay. So to protect, the, the, actually I am protecting the, those all the animals living inside the surface soil. I am protecting them okay. by li live mulch and different type of vegetation. So that's why the soil fertility every year it keeps on increasing. So that's why uh, soil structure is like this. Undisturbed place. Mm -hmm, disturbed. There's less human interference, no human interference. This is what human beings do <laughs> and this is what nature does. <laughs> <laughs>